Yes, once again, welcome back to the channel. As usual, I'm Isaac, a very passionate farmer about poultry and pig alive farming. Guys, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please consider subscribing. And don't forget to bang the notification bell so that you never miss any upload. So guys, in today's episode, I'm going to show you how I have managed to cut costs, to cut expenditure on my farm whereby I use the local the local foods you know in short whereby I feed my pigs locally and guys if you try to watch this video don't forget to share make sure that you share it with your friends so that they can also know this knowledge how they can cut their costs on the farm so guys me on my farm, first of all, I give them potato vines and then I give them potatoes. So before we go on, let us move to my potato gardens and then I try to show you my gardens and then we come back to the farm and we see more. Since the costs of feeds are expensive, I decided to plant potato gardens as you can see them uh, because it's not easy for someone to feed pigs alone on commercial feeds. Most especially when you are upcoming farmers, you have to make sure that you plant uh, potatoes. So for me, I usually feed my pigs on commercial feeds during morning hours. Then in the evening, I just go to my potato gardens as you are seeing them and collect some vines of which I use to feed my pigs not on commercial feeds every day and even sometimes I dig some potatoes and also cook for my pigs guys you know it better you know it better that even potatoes contain uh, proteins so guys these are potatoes you find me digging digging looking for those potatoes then I take them home I can cook them or I can leave them so they contain vitamins. So guys, you find that I'm not spending really, really a lot of money. So it's good to plant potatoes so that you can always get these potato vines to help you. So me, I use these vines you're seeing as supplement. So I try to, to give my pigs commercial feeds in the morning. Then in the evening, I just look for yams leaves even stems they can take them then and potato vines so guys this is the knowledge i can give you to, which you can use just to cut costs on your farm so this is the only way you can cut costs on your farm so guys we are back to the farm right now we are in the farm so where we were in my potato vines I just brought these vines you are seeing just to give them to the pig to the pigs and you see how they take them. So let us go and see. Guys, do you see what I was telling you? This pig is used of taking what we call vines. I think you're seeing it. You see it is salivating because <laughs> It has been taking it. So, let me give it like three vines. So, guys, you see? You see how it is taking them? You look at it. So, they like, they like them. So, these, these piglets, I give them maybe four vines then I come to this bowl give it like two so guys do you see how they consume them they like them because they are using them. then there is what we call this one also give it then there we have these ones Guys, you can see, you see how they are taking this. They are enjoying 
because this is this is not the first time to give them now this one is done almost so, guys you see they are consuming they like them they are using it let me add add now you see this this one is done oh my god now guys that is the the one of the ways i have tried to catch the costs on my farm then there is another message i'm going to show you how i have always used it and it has always helped me to cut the costs so let us go and dig. try to show you so guys before we start uh, i think you're seeing my banana plantation that banana plantation of mine it's where i try to get in the sack the stems these suckers i think you see this has the stems now i get there even some leaves these leaves these banana leaves if if the if if my pocket is not well if there is no uh, some money i just take my time as i'm preparing the tool to get money then i go and bring commercial feeds but if i don't have money my pigs cannot starve my pigs cannot die i can just cut these leaves the banana leaves and then i can give each maybe like 10 of them because they are very many they are very many as you're seeing them so you see because i cut they grow up so now i give them i think you're seeing so we want to cut costs most especially up farmer so guys you can see you see how the pig is taking the the banana leaf you see now there is even this one they all like them you look at it they are used of taking them now we come to this guys do you see do you see they take now there is the, these ones you see now you see how they are enjoying then they are also enjoying so this this is the way also i have your reused it uh, to cut the costs on the farm because guys these pigs you're seeing you can never feed a pig and then you find that the pig is well it cannot happen so you cannot feed the the, the pig the way it wants so you have to limit it so if you if you if you don't use these methods guys it means that you are going to spend a lot of money so if you don't message now i have got the another message so we have said that this is what we call the stem the stem of a banana so we cut we cut small pieces but at this time guys you need a very sharp panga so we cut small cuttings like this small cuttings like wanting to cut anyway me let me stop from there now this 
things you're seeing, I usually put them in the basin, in the basin, then from there, I just put, I power water, then I put salt, then from there, I try to, to, to mix them. I put them on the basin, then I mix them so that the other water containing salt can enter in these cuttings so that it makes them easy just to be to be eaten by pigs. So guys, let us serve them and see. So God created animals but when it comes to pigs God gave us knowledge how we can how we can feed them and manage them because they are very cheap they take feeds that are very cheap now guys look at it it is seriously taking them do you see so now let us these piglets, they are so thick. Then we come to this one. See? Then to this one. Then to this. So everything is done on Trust Farm. But I can't forget to make you know, guys, that you are the one who is responsible to determine the type of food to be eaten by your pigs on farm. Make sure that you start when they are still young so that when they grow up, you find that uh, they can take everything. So me on my farm, those are some of the, some of the ways I use to cut costs. My pigs take everything. They take bananas, they take stems, they take coffee leaves, they take soil, they take everything. Now, you, you see this? These are leaves. These are leaves of coffee, of a coffee tree. So, they can take them. Now you see. Guys, do you see? <laughs> they can enjoy everything. So guys, make sure that you start when they are still young. So this pig, I bought it when it was still young, and then I tried to make it to be used to eating everything. You bring soil, you try to mix it in the maize blend, they take. You bring what? They take. You cut uh, the stems of banana, as we've done, they take. You bring everything, they take. Now, do you see? So guys, if this video has worked for you, give me a thumbs like. Don't forget to comment and share this content with your friends outside there. Till next time, we meet in the next upload. Bye-bye.